Psych 904. Let's kick it. Aggression, baby. And alcohol, baby. We think aggression may be increased by alcohol, baby. All right, stop. Get off your phones and listen. Mean Team's back with a brand new edition. Alcohol is of utmost relevance. Let's learn a little bit about its prevalence. Perpetrators in domestic altercations. Drinking 63% of situations. To the extreme, the numbers high like 45% of the time you'll find a drunk in a homicide. Violence as a system or a model. Think about a funnel or upside down bottle. Start from the top if you're needing some help. Individual cognition and awareness of self. Provocation. We depart intellectual. Social presence factors fall into contextual. Beer goggles on, focus gone with the Win, low emotion regulation, let the violence begin. Aggression, baby. And alcohol, baby. Mix it up. We think aggression may be increased by alcohol, baby. Now that the party is jumping And your ventral striatum is rewarded by something Slow to react and attend to surroundings Focus starts to narrow and your heart starts pounding Planning seems to go out the front door And you can't seem to process anymore Now your inhibitions are gone And prefrontal cortex won't even turn on Take a closer look to figure out what's missing Think about the genetic predisposition. Consider isolation, endure it as a kid Low 5-hydroxy endoleocetic acid Shoulder to shoulder, the bar is so packed You start to get uneasy, the amygdala is jacked It tries to send a message to the PFC, but the two cannot communicate and why you'll see. Aggression, baby. And alcohol, baby. We think aggression may be increased by alcohol, baby. Now let's take a closer look deep inside of the brain. There are three neurotransmitters that I have to explain. If we talk about the reason some continue to drink, then the dopamine system is the culprit, we think. As the dopamine increases and the cycle begins, like addiction to a slot machine, you're seeking to win. So you keep on drinking steadily and finally you feel that the world and your surroundings are becoming surreal. Serotonin gets to dropping and the process proceeds. Higher levels of aggression are results that we see. In primate and rat models, they have noticed effects that they tend toward aggression if they feel like rejects. The increase in GABA complicates the process a ton. With the influx of chlorine, all transmission is done. When the combination builds and it hits you in bulk, it can turn our quiet subject to Incredible Hulk. Aggression, baby. And alcohol, baby. Mix it up. We think aggression may be increased by alcohol, baby. Yeah, we about to get out of here. Word to Steve's mother.